I can't believe it's a new dawn. It's Easter. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's the moment when my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ arose from the dead. And now he's seated in the heavenly realms, reigning as king and he lives eternally. And he's coming back again to take me home. Oh my, I need to share this message with somebody. Somebody needs to hear this story. Somebody needs to be told. Oh my God. Father, I bless your name. I worship you for dying for me. We are rolling in victory. And I'm victorious in the name of Jesus. I am victorious in Christ Jesus. Hey, Sister Ruth. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank God. See, I tell what people are like. Today is a very special day in my life, and I'm really? so proud to be a Christian. Oh my. Is it not a joy? Oh my it God. Is. I'm just so happy. It's really a privilege to be a Christian and a part of this church. You know, I do my best, I try my best to live according to the ways of God, and I'm so happy because God is doing a lot of things in my life. I'm so grateful. I'm so, so happy to be a Christian. Bless the Lord. Bless, Bless the, the Lord. Lord. What are you saying? A Christian? Yes, a Christian. And you said you are celebrating what? The, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. <laughs> resurrection of Jesus Christ. Were you there? <laughs> resurrection of which Jesus? Did you? If your mother asked you to do something, would you do it? I would do it. Why are you making this whole thing look like it? Ah. Jesus was just <laughs> obeying the instruction of his father as if at all he did, he did anything. He resurrected. Oh, they have initiated you into that fraternity and you are just saying what you don't know. That Jesus did. Which Jesus said? There was nobody. Nobody died. People just get up, cook up stories and start saying the That's what you think. That is, that is the truth. That's what I think. No, no. I don't, I don't agree to that. I don't agree to that. Jesus Christ died and he resurrected. He died for our sins. He died so that we could be saved. My dear sisters, the message of the cross is true. Yeah. It is true. It is yes. not a myth. Mm -hmm. It is not a fairy tale story. It is real. Jesus Christ came and died on the cross for you and I. Yes, all of us, everybody. He died to give us real life. Don't you believe it? It is true. He died for us. That's why you see me today. I'm proud to be a Christian. I'm proud to be a Christian and a member of salvation. I do everything in my power. I do everything to please God. I do everything, you know. I try. I come for youth meetings. I come for weekly programs. I, you know, I do a lot of things to serve God. But you see some other Christians. Some are just proud, though. They come to church. They are so proud. Some sing very well, they are so proud. They are not even there to worship God. They are there to show up, but you know, it's their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sister, I focus on my own. I focus on my own. And I know that you know, my name is already written in the book of life in heaven. Mm -hmm. And when I die, God will take me. The other people, they can go to hell. It's their problem. Okay, do you see where my problem comes to you if you are Christian? You see, a sister thinks she does not sing where she's proud and they are proud. They don't care about it. Well, this is how you were supposed to do. If you do like this, it will go well. How many times? And you expect me to come to church. The other time I was even sick. Nobody in church came. That, that, that's why we got angry and then there was no one ever. Come and see, come and tell something. In my jaggy, when I was they contributed money and gave me to go to the hospital. Yeah. No, not even a church brother or church sister fast to say, hi, how you fairy. All you know is gossip about one. What is the difference between you and those out there? What is the difference? So give me a reason why I should even come to church. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. My dear sisters, is that complex? I understand the point you're raising. I understand where you're coming from. 
But I want you to share the YouTube channel. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 53, from verse 8 to verse 9. I read, By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet, who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. I want you to understand what Jesus Christ did for all of us. He bore our sins and sufferings. He stood in the gap for us. I understand that we are sick and nobody came to visit you. But your belief, your, your, your confidence in the message of God, in the salvation message, should not be based on the encouragement of others. It is your race to run. You are the one to keep on pushing and striving towards perfection. And so don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. He arose to give you victory. Rejoice and celebrate. Rejoice and celebrate that. My dear sister, it's all right. It's okay for you to build your faith. To be mindful of others. Jesus was mindful of others. If you have a problem with poverty, sister, faith, who sings and you think she's proud, why don't you go and call her after the service and say, I don't like the way you conducted. I think you should do it like this. Rather than, rather than gossiping or backbiting, that is how we should encourage one another. Jesus Christ arose and he wants us to live the life of love, the life of peace. A life of together. That is what we want. Are we together? We are together. Are we together? <laughs> right. I want us to worship God with this song. And this song speaks so much to me. It speaks so much to all of us to get deep. Sing this song. And as this song, we are going to sing this song. Remember what Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Remember his suffering, he shared the agony, the pain. The Bible says the man Jesus, the man Jesus, he was put on. The PSD by his side, the PSD by his side, he went through pain, he went through all the suffering for all of us. I don't know how you see Jesus, but the suffering can you compare to the suffering Jesus Christ went through? I want to compare. I want to compare. I want you to know that Jesus Christ wants us to live a life of love, a life of togetherness, a life of peace, a life of love. Jesus loves you. Jesus Christ loves all of us. He wants us to be the life of love, the life of peace. Let's look at the name Jesus and claim that victory he has given us. Victory from sin, victory from pain, victory from suffering. The name Jesus is powerful. The name Jesus is powerful. The name Jesus is powerful.
name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.